Hey everyone, it's your friend Sen. Welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts uh, community report. And um, it's mostly going to be a Mino uh, community report because there's not really anything new on Cage 13. They have this social tab, but it's really. I don't understand the format. Like, there's just like these game chats over and over and over. So it does seem like it's. Uh, kind of active, especially this one, but, um, it's like, or this one, I mean, I wonder if this is just the same chat, uh, it's just been going on forever, it's why it has so many replies, that makes sense, uh, but there's nothing new in their news tab, like, nothing. They don't even have a 21st anniversary like some of our uh, members have done here, you know. Mid 21st anniversary art, which I highly recommend checking out these guys, you know, art because it's really good and you should go click on their their uh their posts and give them a like. Um also this one too. This one's really cool. Um but, you know, we have some other hearts, uh, or not hearts, uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts art. Eh. Anyway, that's, you know, more beginner level. That's pretty good, too, here and there. And then we also have this. This was really funny. I got a good laugh out of this. this. This kid needs to come to this community and just post his stuff here, honestly. It's literally the most active community when it comes to Kingdom Hearts content. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, and that's about it up to here. I mean, we do have, uh, Cleverin's sticker game here again, too. And then we also have all these, uh, polls, like, I'll go where, like, my reasoning why I have voted where I voted. This one mostly because it's, like, which link? Seriously, which link? I mean, it, it, you can't really... It's such a vague answer when you say link. So, like, just went with the answer that's the actual real answer. So, the other one's, in my opinion, a real answer. Because, it's like, which, which link? Um, This one... I voted Ventus only because, you know, I feel like Ventus is the one character we know the most about, yet we still don't know why he's important. Like, that's, that's the weird phenomenon about uh, Ventus. So much story on him, yet we have no idea why he's so special. Uh, and then this one, you know... Riku says himself that Sora is better than him, so, you know, it's like, oh, I'm always trying to compete with S Sora, I'm trying to be better than him because I think he's better than me. So if Riku thinks Sora is better than him, Sora probably is better than him. Um, and then we have this one. I put Sora mostly because even though Sora is an airhead, he not so bright. Things go over his head all the time. Somehow he still is able to, you know, make, uh, you know, just astound, uh, old man Xehanort in Kingdom Hearts three, you know. So it says I think it takes some brain cells to be able to do that. Um, anyway, that's about it for here. Oh yeah, there was this one too. Unfortunately, this is just a joke because I was like, "What? There was a bootleg Dreamcast game." I was gonna, I was about to go look up the, the what do you call it? The. See if I could find a ROM for it, you know, play it, because that would be interesting. But you know, it's just a joke. It's not real. Uh, unfortunately, but um, there's a gamer's joint here and. He posted like two uh 
uh, or three at three videos on Tetsudoma's comment of from about uh, something happening last October. He had a third one, but I think he took it down because I watched it. I know there was a third one. I watched it, but uh, I don't know why he took it down. But maybe, maybe he just felt like he got something wrong. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, um, my thoughts though on the whole October thing is, you know, right the month after October, something significant happened in, uh, uh, Disney. What happened was, um, Bob Trepek, the CEO, was just suddenly fired. So it makes me think, well, what if Bob Chapek gave Square Enix some sort of licensing deals or, uh, you know, I guess he could have just 100% sold Kingdom Hearts to Square Enix, like, gave, you know, but I, I have a feeling that may have not happened. I don't. I don't think that would have happened. Just personally, I don't think. Even I think that would be be a little far, even for someone that suddenly gets fired. But you know, it, maybe he did completely sh sell Kingdom Hearts to to Square Enix. That would definitely warrant uh, someone being fired. Uh, definitely a CEO without, you know, without the board's permission or whatever, you know. And the only reason why I think, you know, it has something to do with this is because not only was he suddenly fired, like they hired, uh, uh, what do you call it? They got, uh, Bob Iger back as CEO which never happens. You don't have a you don't have a retired CEO come back. It just doesn't happen. So that's why I'm just like, you know, I wonder if it, this was something they had to suddenly do to get rid of him. They couldn't wait any longer. And they, you know, majority of the time when you get rid of a CEO, you have someone in mind to replace them with. But they obviously didn't have anyone to replace him with. Because it, then they wouldn't have had to go get Bob Iger to come back. So that's what I think happened. But who knows? It could be, yeah. I think it was probably just him get, get, perhaps giving Square Enix like some copyright rights or licensing rights that the board didn't approve of or whatever or didn't, you know, behind the board's back without them knowing or anything like that. So that's my opinion. Um, uh, the thing is, a lot of people say, uh, or cynical will say, uh, there's no way Disney will ever let go of Kingdom Hearts, but at the same time, it's like, uh, I don't know. Because I don't feel like Disney actually does care about Kingdom Hearts that much. Sure, there are, we've been seeing more cameos of the Kingdom Key lately, but that's... And we have seen, you know, I guess there was on cage 13, someone found it in a, what did it call the clank can't, or no, not clank, ch chain, chain, ching, ching, ching can dunk. Anyway, they found uh, someone playing the game Kingdom Hearts 3 but you know that's besides the point like it, it's not it's not that impressive 
so yeah it's i don't know i it's like i feel like the part of the reason you know in my opinion the po why there it is a possibility is only because you know so many people have been saying Square Enix looks like they're gearing up to get by, bought by Sony. Well, if they're going to do that, they have to do something about this whole control that Disney has over Kingdom Hearts. Either they have to get, you know, licensing rights or some sort of rights so that they have more control over the story and direction of Kingdom Hearts. Or... They have to completely be removed from Disney. Now, obviously, this wouldn't happen in Kingdom Hearts 4. They'd have to transition to that. But um, it is a possibility. I, I personally think people shouldn't be, shouldn't throw that possibility out of the window. Because, you know, if you throw it out the window, then you might be surprised in a very unpleasant way. So, you know, I think it's better to be prepared mentally for a possibility like that rather than to say, oh, it will never happen sort of thing. You know, it's that whole, I guess this is kind of a religious reference, but, you know, uh, what we would call in my church, uh, we would call it the all wells in, in Zion mentality thing, you know, this will never happen because of this, that, and the other, or whatever, right? All's well in Zion, you know. My my dreams will never be dashed or whatever, <laughs> you know. It's just, it, you know, we have to realize we live in the real world here, guys. People, disagreements happen, separations happen, deals get broken, uh, companies split. So, you know. Just saying, it's a possibility. But um, yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts of. I'm more leaning towards like actual licensing, obviously not. Uh, perhaps sort of thing like they got licensing rights or whatever, so they can include Nintendo games now, you know, into Kingdom Hearts or whatever, right? Gives them more freedom to do stuff like that. And so, um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Do you think it had anything to do with Disney at all? Was it just on Square Enix end? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments or here on Amino. Just make a post about it. And I'll maybe respond in this the next video. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and. Hope you all have a good day. If today's your birthday, uh, happy birthday. May your heart be your guiding key. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.